Hey everyone! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be live right now with all of you and with the one and only <laughs> Joanne. And um, I'm having Joanne on here today as a relationship expert. And um, if you don't know me, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios, aka A Pop Studios. And what I do is I help people who are no longer happy at work or in life find their joy again. And I do that through a combination of coaching, creative expression, and experiential activities. But enough about me. I want to introduce Joanne, who I'm really, really excited to have on my page and for all of you guys, because I know the online dating struggle, all of the relationship stuff that's happening. Um, so Joanne, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I will thank you. And a quick plug for Carly. So if you don't know her and she's on your Facebook page, you got to private message her and say, I want to get to know you because she is amazing too. So thank you, Carly. So my name is Joanne Sapers and I am the founder of a signature program called Go Deep With Love. And what I do is I help women open their hearts and find and keep true love. So how I do it is a number of different ways. And I tend to go very deep, deep, but very gentle with my clients. So for any of you out there now that are thinking that you're in a relationship right now and you're not quite sure where you want it to go. In those situations, I work and I work with women. I would work with you first to help you to really claim your true love for yourself, that self-love part of you. So you get to know how special you are. Because with my clients, I have the most amazing clients. And I happen mm -hmm. to know how magnificent each one is in their glory. And they don't always know it. So that's what I do. I teach them. And I teach it. You know, we talk about the past. We go deep, but we don't go into the pain deeply. Because to me, mm -hmm. my goal is for you to be aware of maybe what was the trigger. Look at the truth. Look at the lie. And what would you really, really love? Mm. So I hope you move into the loving aspect of who you really are. So, Joanne, what are what are some of the issues or, or hurdles that are um, are going like that? Your client, I'm getting a comment here. Thank you, Sunny. Um, <laughs> um, uh, so, what are some of the hurdles that some of your clients, or maybe even potential clients? come to you with that they're that's kind of a, struggling with? Absolutely. That's a great question. So I have two different types of clients. So the clients that are in a relationship right now, the hurdle they are is by the time they come to me, they are really out of sorts. They may be staying awake at night, tossing and turning, waking up at two in the morning, and they may feel like they've lost themselves. So that's a really scary place to go. That's a that's a place that I know I've been there, so I know what it's like, and I also know the other side. So I help them with that pain point to understand, okay, that's not who they are. And I teach them very specific tools and techniques, a lot of visioning. We do forgiveness work. Um, we do belief work. And we look at those beliefs that aren't serving them anymore, that, you know, maybe happened when they were a teenager or even younger. And what is the belief they would really love to believe right now? What is what would they love their life to look like? And how would how do they want to feel inside? So we have tons. I want to say it's fun because you know what? It's lighthearted. It's full of love. And it's letting them be who they really are already and then exposing them to their magnificent self. So, so I, I want to definitely get play um, devil's advocate here. Please do. I know that's fun. And a lot of my, you know, a lot of my followers are probably thinking, well, what if it's my partner and it's not me? Then what? So how do you handle how do you handle that type of situation? And I work with clients absolutely that way. So if it's your partner and if it's affecting you, we need to see where are you losing yourself in the relationship. Because we can't change your partner, but I can absolutely, if that's what you're looking to do, help you to feel like okay, I'm back to who I really am. I'm back to my core values. And when I get you to be in that self, that's such a great question, Carly. When I get to, when you get to be in that place of feeling good about yourself, get then 
we look at what's going on with your partner and you. And until then, we're just focusing right on you. So what are what are some of the results that your clients get when they work with you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Without uh, so many fantastic things. So one of my so this is one aspect of my business. The other one is helping people go into find true love. So in this one, I have helped. I'm thinking of one specifically. She didn't even want to get out of bed. And she's a beautiful, beautiful soul. She didn't want to get out of bed in the morning. She was so overwhelmed with what life looked like. And she and her partner, the minute they would try to talk, she would just go out, go up and smoke practically and be yelling and screaming. And that's not who she is. She just didn't know how to navigate in a loving way in this relationship. So where she is now, again, someone that didn't even want to wake up in the morning, someone that last thing she wanted to do was spend time with her husband. They now have dates. They've gone on vacation. She looks forward to seeing him. And they are best friends. So for her, I helped the two of them come back together. And we did a lot of work. And she's doing a lot of inner work now on herself, too. Yet she's at a place of feeling really secure and really loved within herself. And so she has so much love to give. And she just... For clients like her, what would be... um... Like what was what would you say like maybe the root like what what was the root that you perhaps found of the issue for her and like what was like so for people who are watching this the people some of my know. followers absolutely that, like huh absolutely I have an answer for you oh, oh good good I'm so excited <laughs> she didn't understand her self worthiness no matter where she went trying to she did a lot of self work she couldn't get there and so that's why people hire coaches like you and me. Is because we can see who they are. We see that love. We see all the joy that's in their heart. And so I help. I do a lot of heart talk. Mm-hmm. Like her heart and my heart were talking to each other. So she could feel safe. So she could know she is worthy. And we talk about what would it feel like if, if she was felt worthy in this relationship? What would it look like? So we reverse engineering. Then we go forward into the future. And we just play. You know, we just have so much fun as she explores who she is. Because, again, it's always the journey when we're working with our clients, always for wherever they are. You know, and the most important thing, Carly, is that somebody wants to make a change. Yeah. So they have a situation where we're going to know that. (laughs) I think both of us as coaches know that for sure. That's the most important thing when you begin to work with someone. It's that you really have to want the change. Right. So when they come to me, they... They don't have to know specifically what they want. They have to know. I help them so they can feel what it is. And they have to be willing to be willing. But if they're not willing to be willing, and and so they can't be willing to be willing to be willing to be willing, because they have to be closer. They have to be willing to be at least willing. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So for clients, like I love that story that you gave about one of your clients. Um, because I think that's where a lot of people are these days. So like for someone like her, or maybe for, for anybody who's watching this, like what are the typical fears or barriers that you might, like someone might experience, um, that maybe you can give people like a word of comfort or advice to to try to pursue making their relationship healthier or finding the right relationship. So what would those fears be and how would you overcome them? Okay. The fears, if you're in a relationship right now would be, What if I get out of this relationship and then I end up alone? That's one of the biggest fears. Mm -hmm. What if I never meet the right person if I let this person go? Or what if I'm making a mistake and we really can make make it work and I didn't wait long enough or I didn't learn how to do it? Mm -hmm. And that's scary because people don't, we don't want, as human beings, we don't want to make mistakes. And yet that's how we learn. That's the best part of our journey, yet it's the most painful. Yeah, where, where it takes us to is the rainbow within so, ourselves. Yeah. So what? So how would you walk a client through something like some maybe or comfort a, a potential client, someone who's watching this who wants to make changes so that they can find the rainbow, so they can be happy, but that fear is feeling like almost debilitating. So what would you say for something like that? Well, I, what I do is I teach my clients, first of all, we work, use a lot of positive tools. 
And I explained and I teach my clients how the subconscious mind works and what we believe we become. Mm -hmm. And so many people don't realize that the freedom of understanding that, that we can change our belief because it's not, it's, it's not stagnant. It's fluid. So I help my clients. So if things felt better, what would you love to feel? And how would that be? What would that look like? And then how would that affect the rest of your other aspects of your life? With your family, with your friends, with your career. You know, it could be, there's so many different facets. So we do explore all of them, even though I am truly a relationship coach. That's <laughs> my, my true love and my joy. Yet I have clients that I help with their financial abundance. That I help with their careers. And I do it all within that holographic frame of relationship. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like we re we are, as a being, relating to everything, whether it's like, the, you know, the screen right in front of me now or, um, you know, the t this this chair I'm sitting on or a coworker or, you know, whatever. We, yeah, it's all relationships. So that's that's really great. Now, I know there's one thing that I think people would be really interested to know about you. Um, is that you're a licensed spiritual practitioner, which I think is super cool. Thank you. Um, yes. And so, like, how does how does that affect the way that you work with your clients? Great question. So thank you. So my clients that are looking for their true love and my clients that are in a relationship not knowing which way to go and how to make it feel better, the ones that love to work with me are the ones that love to go deep. They love to know that it's their inner self that they want to learn how to connect to. They want to learn how to connect to their intuition. They want to learn how to trust their judgment. They want to learn how to uh, build their faith. And that's spiritual. That's spiritual. <laughs> all spiritual, yeah. It is. It is. And it's, it's pure joy. And, you know, I didn't have a chance to go into it yet. My clients that are looking to be in a relationship and aren't currently, some of them have been out of a relationship for five years, 10 years, 20 years. It doesn't matter. Because I help them as long as they're ready and they want to. I help them to feel so good about where they are today. And to move into that safe place, that good place, to trust their judgment, to know that I'm going to hold their hand when they start dating if they want to go online fine i help them with their profiles if it's more local and i work with individuals all over the country um i help them so they know that they can trust themselves so first i give them a lot of feedback and i teach them what to look for i teach them how to listen to what they're hearing when they're looking and they're meeting a new man a new woman whoever it is so they can feel safe, they can feel loved, and they can allow this love because they already know how to love because they have friends, they have family, they may have pets that they love. So they're already good at love. I help them expand it to their true love. And once wow. we do that, it opens the doors to the infinite. And it's so exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I, I do have a question, which I... I, of course you do. <laughs> I always have questions. So I know that, that you know, there's a lot happening, uh, you know, politically right now with the Me Too movement and all of that. Um, and, and all of that to say that I, I know that there's a lot of people who are perhaps questioning if they're in an abusive relationship or uh, are afraid. Uh, they're single because they're afraid of, um, entering an unhealthy relationship, whether it be abusive or, or just unhealthy. Um, so, you know, do you work with, with clients to help them, you know, see the signs, understand whether, you know, you know, this is a, a fixer or a, you know, see you later type of situation? Yes, I absolutely do. I work that a number of my clients have been working. I'm a coach. So a number of them have been working with doctors, psychiatrists, psychologists, um, counselors, and they've wanted my my part because it's different. They work in such a different way. They just have loved the gentle balance mm -hmm. where I help them to, to start trusting again. You know, I'm not a, I don't force them into the trust, but I help them to really feel it in their heart 
so we do, you know, that forgiveness work when it comes to being betrayed or abused, they get to be really understand how and how it happened as far as the big picture. Mm-hmm. You know? And once the forgiveness is done, not that we allow people into our lives that are abusive, because we don't, but yet there needs to be strong forgiveness. That's a big part of abuse. Because at that point, once they do the forgiving, then they can open their hearts. Because their hearts are are totally available for that love to come through. And I was going to say... What's that? Oh, I was going to say, I almost even say would say that it has a lot to do with in those situations like forgiving yourself, you know, because there's a lot of self blame happening. And I know you're amazing at helping people let go of the, the unnecessary burdens of their, of their past in that way. Right. And they think exactly because they think it's really, they need to forgive the other partner, but the, the forgiveness and the recovery and the healing, the deep, deep healing begins, just like you said, when they can truly love who they are every part of them because they are totally perfect and beautiful. So, yes. Wow. So Joanne, I know you had a, um, a gift or, or um, a free offering of some sort that you wanted to give my folks. So I'm gonna I would you love to reveal the surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to. So I invite everyone to go. You could either private message me and my name is Joanne Sapers. Or you can go onto my website, which is www.godeepwithlove.com and subscribe and you will receive your free gift from me. And then there's even a bonus free gift after that. So I just appreciate so much that you're here. And if you feel like I was talking to you, feel free to private message me. Um, just get into or you know go on the website, whatever it is that you're comfortable with. I would love an opportunity to talk to you because there is a free consultation waiting for you. I have a limited number for I have a very full schedule and I would love to make time for you. And we can do that over the phone. We can do it over Zoom, whatever you're comfortable with. So thank you. Thank you so much, Carly. Oh, my God. What fun. Um, I always love your insight. I love your your gentle, you know, I always like loving kindness, gentle spirit, like it's all of those words. Um, so I, I really am grateful. And I want to say thank you from, you know, just I know everyone's walk, who's watching is also just so thankful. So I want to say beha- thank you on behalf of all of, all of my community. And uh, I hope that we can do this again soon. Absolutely. And one more plug for Carly. If you <laughs> don't know Carly, Facebook her, message her. Smile at her, do something because she is a joy. And and she is, just real quickly, a plug for Carly. She is an <laughs> out-of-the-box coach. She's an, artist. she's an <laughs> artist. And she's full of life, full of vigor. I was going to say vinegar too, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and pure joy to get to know. So thank you, Carly, so much. Absolutely. And before, you know, not with that, because I, now I thought of something. So for those of you guys who are located in New Jersey, um, I'm making my way to New Jersey this Saturday. I'm going to be doing oh, yes. a on how to find work that fills your wallet and your soul. Um, I'll share the link here on the in the comments if you want to join. Tickets are $10, and it'll it's definitely worth the bang for the buck. And it's at a spa, so... Ooh, what could be afterwards? Perfect, perfect location. <laughs> right, right. Absolutely. All right. Take care, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in, and thank you, Joanne. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Have a great night.